25 years ago in Montana, a tragic school shooting in Butte took the life of an 11 year old boy. MTN's John Amy tells us how the school is turning that terrible event into a message of kindness. Six, five, four, three. And they're off. The students at Margaret Leary Elementary spent a fun-filled day in honor of a fellow student who died on a tragic day 25 years ago. 11-year-old Jeremy Bullock was killed after being shot by a classmate in April of 1994. On Friday, the school held a fun run in Jeremy's honor with the central message being kindness. Jeremy's family was there, including Governor Steve Bullock, who is Jeremy's uncle. It's an incredible thing, and the best thing that you could ever do for a parent who's lost a child is to remember our child and to remember in such a positive way. The students, though too young to have remembered Jeremy, understood the point of the event. Kindness, you always have to, like, kindness and being nice because you need to always be nice to people. I think it was just a good thing to do to, like, remember Jeremy and uh, just support kindness. Jeremy's mother believes her son was watching over the event. I believe he's seeing it every day and watching out over um, the kids and our family. And um, I see it every time I look at his identical twin brother, Josh, and he's also a teacher. And just how he deals with students and tries to reinforce positive behaviors. The governor said gun violence should be treated as a public health issue and not a political one. The thought that like my sixth grade son, when he went to the middle school this year, learned about where to go for an active shooter, thinks like that kid shouldn't have to know. This mural was painted after Jeremy was killed. And 25 years after that tragedy, it remains here as a message of kindness. And that's what Jeremy's family wants to do, preserve that message. To see that message being given to that next generation, I think is that much more important. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. The Jeremy Bullock Foundation will be holding a safe school summit in Butte in August to address the issue of violence in schools.